Hi guys, this is Drew with uh, Northridge Community Church. Um, just uh, uploaded a video on how to uh, update your firmware inside your board to the new uh, 1.10 firmware. Um, and uh, I misread the uh, the release notes. The um, they now have Butterworth uh, filters um, and some um, different type of crossover type filters, um, and those are for the matrix. Um, those are for the matrices, not uh, not the sub uh, groups. So uh, let me go ahead and show you guys um, that. So um, basically, the the new type of things is you can um, select the uh, the different type of uh, Butterworth filters for your matrix sends. So if we go ahead and select one of uh, one of the matrices, and I am going to go ahead and select matrix two, uh, you go over to your equalizer and uh, engage your EQ. And now on the lowest um, EQ, you can adjust um, your to your the basically the roll off. And let me switch switch screen switch cameras here. You can adjust the roll off on your lower two things. So it actually takes up uh, the first two uh, bands of EQ if you're doing it this way. Um, and so also you can use the um, high shelf as well. But then that only leaves you with two additional bands to adjust in the EQ section. So if you were wanting to, uh, say, use this for a, um, a subwoofer and the mains, you would actually only have two additional bands of EQ to go and adjust things. Um, so you'll have to get a little tricky on, on how you are with um, the EQ on maybe your bus, um, sends, or your left, right, or uh, insert a, a 32, or, uh, one of the graphic EQs uh, onto your left, right, um, or something like that. But I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys that, hey, now we actually can um, adjust the roll-off on, uh, on our matrix sends to do a little bit of processing inside of this, um, which is always nice. Um, then... Uh, then the other thing that they added, uh, and let me go ahead and reset this real quick. There we go. Uh, the other thing that they added is in the effects, they added a de -esser. So let's go ahead and go find that. So hall plate, let's see here. There it is. Cool. So right after the um, graphic EQs, um, is the dual de-esser, which is DES2, and then the stereo de-esser, which is DES. So let's go ahead and set that and go view it. So here is the de-esser. And so it looks like you have uh, the difference between male and female, um, and you have uh, a couple different... Um, you have your low band uh, gain reduction and your uh, high band gain reduction. So that is cool now that we have a de-esser. Uh, and the stereo de-esser, let's go take a look at that real quick. Set. And basically it's the same thing, um, but uh, it gives you uh, the ability to have the um, whatever you're doing to the left channel be the same on the right channel. So. There you go. There is the uh, basically the two main things that I, I see. Um, there's also a bunch of other things that they've added, some new features uh, with uh, direct control of all the mic preamps um, and whatnot. So uh, go read uh, the additional notes uh, from Behringer of what they released uh, with uh, this new um, release, and you can, uh, you can check it out. But uh, until next time, thank you. Have a great day.